Okay, so we're going to choose the best answer. If necessary, use the paper you were given. So the question says, was, what is an equation of the graph shown? So we are going to have to choose from these four equations to say which one of these four equations represents that line that's drawn. So our very first step is to find a point on the graph. And as a reminder, a point is x comma y. So if we look at this, this looks like it's exactly on that point. So that point would be 1 comma 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of these equations one by one. And in each one of them, we're going to put in 1 for x. And if we put 1 in for x and we get an answer of 8 as the y, then we know that this could potentially be the equation that is for that graph. So let's go ahead and do this first one. y is equal to 2x. We're going to go ahead and replace the x with 1, and we're going to see if we get 8. So 2 to the power of 1 just means 2 one time, so that is equal to 2. That is not equal to 8, so this cannot be the equation of the line. Let's go ahead and try the second one y is equal to 4 to the exponent of x. So we're going to go ahead and again, we're going to put 1 in for x, and we're going to see if that's equal to the y, which is 8. So 4 to the exponent of 1 just means 4 one time, which is equal to 4. That is not equal to 8, so then this is not going to be the equation of the line. Now we're going to test this third one. y is equal to 2 times 4 to the exponent of x. Okay, so again, we're going to put in 1 for x, and we're going to go ahead and solve this. How do we solve this? So remember, in the order of operations, when we're talking about which order to do things, parentheses is first, but there is nothing inside the parentheses to do. So say that was like 4 plus 2 inside the parentheses, then we would do what's inside the parentheses. But because there is no parentheses, and that parentheses is actually representing a multiplication sentence, we're not going to do parentheses. The next step would be exponents. So we have to do 4 to the power of 1. 4 to the power of 1 is just saying 4 1 times, which is 4. And we're going to bring down that parentheses and multiply it against the 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So again, we were trying to get y equal to 8. And in this case, y is equal to 8. So this could potentially be our answer. So this could be our equation. But again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check another one. We want to check this last one as well, because sometimes you can put in the 1 and the 8 and you can get the right answer. It may be either equation. So let's go ahead and test it out. y is equal to 4 times 2 to the power of x. Okay, so 4 times 2 to the power of 1. Again, we're going to do the exponents first. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And so y is equal to 8. Okay, so we have two equations here. These last two equations where y is equal to 8 when you put in 1 for x. So we have to choose which one is this equation for the line. So we're going to have to choose another point that's on the graph to test that one out. So instead of doing 1, 8, we're going to look to see is there another point on this graph that we can use. So how about 2, 16? So now that we know that it's either this equation or this equation, we only have to test these two out. So we're going to do y is equal to 2, 4, x. And then we're going to also test y is equal to 4, 2, x. Okay, so x is going to be 2 now, and y is going to be 16. So we're going to go ahead and plug in 2 into both equations, and we're going to see which one gives us an answer of 16. So again, we're going to do the exponents first. 4 to the power of 2 is 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And then we're going to bring down the multiply by 2. 2 times 16 is 32. So y is equal to 32. Is that what we were looking for? No, we were looking for y is equal to 16. So this is not our equation. But well, let's go ahead and double check to see if this last one is our equation. So we're gonna do the exponent first. Two times two is four. Four times four is 16. Y is equal to 16. 
So our answer is going to be this final equation. As a review, the way that we got this answer is that we took two points on the graph, we plugged them into each of the equations, and we tested them out to see which equations work when we plug in the xy points. First, we started with the point 1, 8, and we plugged that into all the equations, and we were able to eliminate the first two equations because they didn't work out, but the last two equations worked out. So what did we have to do then? We had to choose another point on the line, and that's when we chose 2, 16, and then we plugged in those numbers into the equations. When we plugged in 2 in both of those equations for x, then we were able to see which one would give us 16 for y, and that's how we decided on that last equation. This means that you have to learn how to use exponents. It means that you have to just practice identifying points on a line and just practicing your order of operations. If you have any questions, just please let me know, and please stay tuned for my next few videos because I'm going to go over problems one at a time so that we can get ready for our state exams.